in this section I want to talk about uh, the mass of different types of atoms. We said that there are basically 118 different types of atoms. Um, and uh, to, to talk about the mass of an atom, and, and just in case you don't remember what mass is, you can think of mass as being roughly equivalent to weight. So informally speaking, what we are talking about now is how much a particular atom weighs. But I am going to use the term mass. So when you hear mass, I want you to think of weight. And to talk about the, the mass of an atom, we're going to have to talk about uh, the, the three different pieces that atoms are made of. So I'm going to bring back the slide that I had from the previous section that talks about how big protons are, how big neutrons are, how big electrons are. And if you remember from that slide, I said that protons weigh very little. They weigh about this much over here, 1.67 times 10 to the minus 24 grams. Neutrons weigh essentially the same. They have a mass of uh, also about 1.67 times 10 to the minus 24 grams. And then electrons have a mass that's much, much less. So in that case, I put very, 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 very little. Um, so the question is, if you wanted to determine the mass of some particular type of atom, how do you do it and how do you describe it? Well, here's an example. Here, this is an atom that has one proton in it. So the proton is shown by this red circle here. That's my cartoon version of a proton. There's nothing else in this atom. I'm trying to make it relatively uncomplicated. Um, what kind of atom is this? So if you want to try to figure that out yourself, you can pause the recording right now. Um, this particular atom is a hydrogen atom. The reason it's a hydrogen atom is because it contains one proton. And if you look up uh, atoms with the atomic number of one on the periodic table, you'll see that they're hydrogens. Now, if I wanted to describe the mass of this atom, and if, if it helps, you can think of, of this as trying to describe the weight of this atom, um, I told you that protons weigh very little. Well, you can't say that this atom weighs one very little. You could say that it has a mass of 1.67 times 10 to the minus 24 grams, but chemists have a, a different unit that they use to describe mass on occasions. In this case, what you would say is that this atom has a mass of one Dalton because it has one proton in it. Another equal unit, another unit that is equal to the Dalton is called the atomic mass unit, and it's abbreviated AMU. Uh, chemists tend to use the, the unit AMU, and biologists tend to use the, the unit of Dalton, but they're essentially the same thing. So you can think of the mass of one proton as being equal to one Dalton. And in this case, this atom pretty much only has one proton, so the entire mass of this atom is one Dalton. So now I have an, another atom where I want you to, to describe the mass. And here it is. Um, in this case, this atom has two protons. So if I asked you what kind of atom it is, you could look up uh, which atom has two protons in the periodic table, and you would see that it's helium. Now, uh, those of you who know a little bit about helium would realize that this is a little bit of a weird helium atom, but let's just pretend that, this, that we've encountered this helium atom, and it has two protons and is made of nothing else. What's the mass of this atom? And you can pause the recording if you want to try to figure this out yourself or to think about it. And the mass of this atom is two Daltons. So I put question mark Daltons here, but in this case, the mass of this atom is two Daltons because each proton has a mass of one Dalton, and this atom has two protons in it. So it has a mass of two Daltons, or two atomic mass units. Next atom. Here's a different atom. It has two protons, shown by the red circles, and two neutrons, shown by the gray circles. So in this case, uh, if I asked you what kind of atom it is, it is also a helium atom. The reason it's a helium atom is because every helium atom has an atomic number of two, which means that it has two protons, and this atom here has two protons. It just happens to also have two neutrons as well. So this is a, a more typical helium atom that you might find out there in the real world. So if I ask you what's the mass of this atom, um, again, you can pause the recording to, to try and work this out yourself, and I will pause for a second. And the mass of this atom is actually four Daltons, or four atomic mass units. The reason is that each proton weighs one Dalton, and there are two of them, so that's two Daltons. But each neutron has a mass that is essentially the same as a proton. So each neutron has a mass of one Dalton as well, 
or one atomic mass unit, and there are two of them. So two protons is two Daltons, two neutrons is also two Daltons, so this atom here has a total mass of four Daltons, or four atomic mass units. And the final punchline here is that the electrons don't weigh enough to count. I put way in quotes because really we're talking about mass again, but the mass of the electron is so much smaller than the mass of the neutron and the proton that you basically just don't count it when you're describing the mass of an atom. So I don't care how many electrons this atom has and how many this one has or how many this one has. They, they don't have enough mass to count in our calculations. And this one has a mass of one Dalton, this one two Daltons, and this one four Daltons. And don't forget, atomic mass unit is essentially an equivalent, equivalent to the Dalton. So we have been talking about how to describe the mass of different atoms. Um, a more formal way of talking about the mass of an atom, when you're talking about the mass of an atom, one way of talking about it is uh, basically you're talking about something called the mass number of an atom. So that is just mass number is a more formal way of saying that you're talking about the mass of an atom. So the mass number um, is equal to the number of protons in an atom plus the number of neutrons in an atom. And that's exactly what we were doing on the previous slide. We would count up the protons and neutrons in our cartoon version of the atom, and then we would say the atom was two Daltons or four Daltons or one Dalton in mass. And that's uh, what we were doing was basically determining the mass number of each of those atoms. And again, that's just the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the atom. Now, if you remember from earlier in this course, uh, the number of protons in an atom is also equal to the atomic number. So another way of thinking about the mass number is that it's the atomic number plus the number of neutrons in an atom. This equation on the bottom here is just another way of saying this equation on the top here. Number of protons is the same thing as the atomic number. So with that in mind, let's look at this pretend atom. This pretend atom, ha again, the red circles are supposed to be protons, the gray circles are supposed to be neutrons, and then I have a few questions and you can pause and try to answer these questions as we go along. First question is what is the atomic number of this atom? And You can pause at this point and try to figure that out. And the way to figure out the atomic number is to count the number of protons. So you count one, two, three, four, five, six protons. So the atomic number of this particular atom is six. It has six protons. Next question, what's the mass of this atom? Or what's the mass number of this atom? And again, you can pause, um, and I will talk about the answer in a second. And the answer to this question is basically counting up all of the protons and neutrons in this atom. We just said that it has six protons. How many neutrons does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this atom has six protons and six neutrons, so its mass number is six plus six, which is 12. And we need to add the units, so the mass number of this uh, atom is 12 atomic mass units. Or if you want, you can say that, that its mass number is 12 Daltons. And then finally, what type of atom is this? And what I'm asking here, um, before you pause, if you want to try to answer this question on your own, what I'm asking here is, what element is this? <clears throat> you can figure this out by looking at the nucleus of this atom. So uh, you can pause now if you want. Um, the, this figuring out what type of atom this is, is just counting up the number of protons, because the number of protons is what makes a particular element an uh, whatever it happens to be. So this, again, this atom here has six protons, and so you would look on the periodic table and see which element has six protons, or which element has an atomic number of six. And if you look on your periodic table, the, ele the element that has six protons is carbon. So this right here is a cartoon version of a carbon atom that has a mass of 12 atomic mass units. So here is an example problem that you can go through and you can pause the video if you'd like. Uh, and, and this problem is basically a test to see, um, to, to test your understanding of what we just talked about with respect to the number of protons, number of neutrons, and atomic mass. So here's the setup to the question. You have an oxygen atom that has a mass number of 16. 
how many neutrons does this oxygen atom have? And to answer this question, you're going to need to look at your periodic table. So if you want to try to figure out this, uh, the answer to this question at this point, you can pause, and then I will talk about the answer um, after you unpause. So here, uh, the basic setup of the question is you have an oxygen atom that has a mass number of 16. What this 16 means is that whatever the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of your oxygen atom, there have to be 16 protons and neutrons altogether. So that's the first piece of information we know. The other piece of information actually comes from this, comes from the fact that it says that we're working with oxygen. If you look up oxygen in the periodic table, you will see that oxygen has an atomic number of eight. That means that eight of the 16 things that are located in the nucleus have to be protons. So let's color them red. There they are. There's our eight protons in this oxygen atom. But we know that the mass number is 16. So the other eight things can't be protons, because if they were, then you wouldn't have an oxygen atom anymore. So these other eight circles have to be neutrons. So let's color them gray. And that basically answers our question. How many neutrons does this oxygen atom have? Well, it has a total mass of 16 atomic mass units. Eight of those atomic mass units come from the protons, so another eight have to come from the neutrons, and that's the answer.